When the New California Republic discovered the mostly intact Hoover Dam in the Mojave Wasteland, President Aaron Kimball sent troops to seize control of the pre-war relic. Upon arrival, they were met by Robert House's three families and a large force of Securitrons. With neither side wanting bloodshed, they came to an agreement known as the New Vegas Treaty. The primary element of the treaty was that the NCR had to recognize House's sovereign control of the New Vegas Strip. In exchange for that, the Republic would be able to set up tactical military bases and outposts at the Hoover Dam, McCarran Airport, and pretty much wherever else they deemed fit. The NCR would be in charge of all the Hoover Dam's facilities and could distribute 95% of its power output wherever they decided. The remaining 5% was to be directed to the Strip and its casinos. And lastly, the NCR had to allow its soldiers and people access to the Strip as part of their leave or furlough. Denying a soldier from going to the Strip would void the treaty. While at the time this provision might have seemed odd to some, the citizens and soldiers of the NCR are actually the engine of the Strip's growing economy, bringing in thousands of bottle caps. 